Welcome. One moment, I'm just going to finish up what I've been doing here. Alright, I'm ready for you now. Come on in. Come, take a seat. I'm so glad you were able to make it today. Yes, you were strongly urged to come, as well as every other human being, but it's all for your own good. Yeah. So, uh, let me explain a bit further. Uh, my name is Dr. K, and I will be doing your examination today. Your planet was, as you know, purchased by the galactic government. When this happens, it is protocol to send someone like me to come and do your exam in order to decide your designation. Human. Oh, no. <laughs> Although my species does very closely resemble humans, which is one reason why I will be doing your exam today. I also have dressed as one of your healers on your home planet. This way you are most comfortable as we are going through the exam. Mm -hmm. So, as I was explaining, once the galactic government purchases your planet, it is because we have decided that your planet has been cleared for integration. This means that other species of what you refer to as aliens are able to uh, inhabit your planet. Unfortunately, your planet uh, was already overpopulated. Because of this, uh, we need to figure out what sort of designation you will be perfect for. In the galactic government, every single life form is given a, what do you call, a job or a task that you bide your time doing before you die. Yes. We do not uh, put it up to chance what your designation is. We give you an exam, and we understand your weaknesses and your faults, and from there we decide where you will be perfect. Now, you may stay on Earth, or you may go to a different planet. This is all decided upon your exam and your results. We've already done some uh, tests on you that you are not aware of, but they were quick and simple that we did while you were sleeping. Everyone has gotten the same tests, do not worry. So, another reason why we do these tests or examinations is to find the perfect designation for you, uh, but as well as to figure out if you have nothing special about you, uh, if we should just put you in a job that we need filled. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's no proclivity in any area, so we just fill you in to where we need. Uh, these are most likely uh, labor jobs, but not always. Um, they could be simple tasks or mm, repetitive movement. Uh, I wouldn't worry about those jobs. Uh, humans do have a pretty decent intelligence and uh, we believe that you may have a good fit for our universe here although not all humans will be making the cut that's okay <laughs> anyway shall we start with the examination yes okay no better time than the present. Is 
it for my protection as well as yours. Again, I may look human, but uh, that is not my species. And we don't fully understand um, human life forms just yet. We are still doing preliminary testing, but because there are so many of you, we do need to start with the exams to get these designations rolling. <laughs> yes, we try to move quick here. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test uh, your reflexes and your coordination and um, like your eyesight and the way you hear and you'll see. You humans refer to it as a cranial nerve exam. Yes. Let's get started. I'm just going to get my checklist here and make sure I don't forget anything. Okay, and remind me, what was your first and last human name? Okay. Sounds so interesting, so foreign. <laughs> mm, all right. So let's start with checking your face to make sure everything is solid. I'm going to check your chin here. Your forehead as well. I'm just going to make sure. Okay, so it's very solid. That's that's good. Okay. I'm just going to feel the top of your scalp here. I'm just going to do a very simple check. Make sure there's nothing going on there. Okay, that's good. <sighs> Perfect. So next, I'm going to touch this area and I'm going to have you go like this so I can check your muscles. Okay, go ahead. Good. Okay, and smile for me like that. I'm going to take care of you here. Okay. Good, good. Okay, and I want to for you to go like that so I can check area here. Good. And go like this with your forehead. Okay. Hmm. Very good. That's fine. Okay. Do me a favor and let me know uh, how has your breathing been recently? Okay. So I'm going to have you take a deep breath in for me, and I'm going to feel your chest to make sure that uh, everything is going fine there. Okay, I'm just going to feel this area, and deep breath in, and out. Okay, one more time, in, and out. Okay, very good. How has your solid gray glands been? The swallowing been good? Yes? A little weird? Yeah, well, you aren't quite used to our food yet, so sometimes it can be drier, um, and I feel like that is probably the reason why you've been um, salivating a bit more, probably to make up for that difference there. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, uh, next week's menu was from a different planet, and it's more of a, a gooey substance that they choose. Don't worry, it is absolutely delicious. <laughs> okay, so 
And let's move on. I'm going to actually have you swallow for me. I'm going to show you next to me in this area here to make sure everything is working perfectly, okay? And swallow for me. Okay, let's move on. Okay, that's good. Okay. Everything looks fine. Okay, can you open your mouth for me and just like, take, it, take a quick look at your teeth? I'm not going to do anything here. I just want to make sure they're nice and healthy. But there's nothing wrong with them. Okay. Alright. Then go, ah. Uh. Okay. Very good. Your throat seems to be intact. That's good. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch your face like this. And I want you to tell me if you feel the sensation of my touch on both sides of your face. Or if you just feel it on one. Okay? Okay. Okay. How, how was that? That was good. I'm going to do it one more time. can feel both? Good. Well then next we shall move on to... Okay. Can I have you hold your hands out for me like this? Okay. And then I'm going to uh, touch your finger. And then from there I would like you to touch your nose. Okay. And can you do this with your eyes closed please? This is checking your coordination. Okay, so hold your hands up, please. Yeah, good. Like you're holding something. And close your eyes. Close your eyes. Good. Okay, so when I touch your finger, the finger that I touch, I want you to use that to touch your nose, okay? Good. And that one there. And other hand. And that one there. Okay, one more round. This finger. You may open your eyes, but I would like you to keep your hands forward still. Okay, I'm going to push them down and I want you to resist. Okay, okay, that's good. I'm going to push them up and I want you to resist. Okay, good, good. I'm going to push down on your shoulders and I want you to keep them up as hard as you can. I'm just going to push down gently. Okay, good. Very good. So everything works out fine there. Okay, let's move on. Next, I'm going to test more of your coordination. Uh, I'd like you to touch my finger and touch your nose. So it's going to go something like this. Okay, so go ahead and touch my finger. Touch your nose. Good. Not bad. Okay, so your other hand, please. Good. So I would like you to do that once more. But I'm going to move my finger in a circle like this. It's a little bit harder. Yeah, okay, let's start. Okay, touch my finger. And your nose. And your finger. Your nose. Your finger. Your nose. Okay. Very good. Okay, I would like you to use your other hand now to make sure that your coordination is good on both sides. Okay, let's start. Finger, your nose, my finger, your nose, one more round, my finger, your nose, my finger, and your nose. Good. Good job. Things are looking up. Wonderful. Okay. Now, next, instead, I would like you to use one of your tentacles instead of your hand to touch my finger, then your nose. Oh. You don't have tentacles. Oh, okay. Let me just write that down. Sorry, like I said, we're still learning about you. Okay, interesting. Oh, curious about how you do some basic tasks, but we'll get into that. <laughs> you humans are very interesting. 
Let's move on to, okay. Let's check your eyes a little bit closer. Um, this is gonna be sort of hard. I'm going to shine a light into your face, uh, into your eyes. Um, and I'm going to check to see what, uh, if your pupils dilate uh, the way that they are supposed to, okay? Please keep your eyes open as long as you can, please. Thank you. All right, and the next one. Okay, very good. It does react correctly. Okay, and once more. Okay, and your next one. Okay, very good. Next, I want you to look straight ahead, please, and I'm going to move the light again to see how your eyes will react. Straight ahead, please. Do not move your eyes. Straight ahead, please. Okay, one more time. Straight ahead, please. Alright. Very good. Okay, next I would like for your eyes to follow the light. Okay. Good. Follow, follow, follow. Follow, follow. Okay. Some more following. Okay. Doing good. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to check your night vision. Okay. Do me a favor. Can you give me a good idea of what your night vision is like? So when the lights are off, do you see shapes? Do you see um, like a full uh, image of uh, whatever it is in the dark? How far can you see? Humans can't see in the dark at all. Okay. Okay. Um, that severely limits um, the planets that you would be able to go to, unfortunately. But, um, I mean, that may be a fortunate thing for you, but I'm sorry that you can't see in the dark. It's sort of common in the galaxy. <laughs> okay. May I ask, um, do you not have infrared vision as well? You don't? Okay, um, once more, I'm just gonna write that down. Okay, um, no, it's okay. I would not worry about it. Um, it's fine. <laughs> Let's move on. I will just check your eyesight very quickly. Um, we can do a more advanced one later. <laughs> I'm just going to move over. So, here I have my very basic eye chart. Um, can you please read the first line for me? Oh, that's right. This isn't your language. We have not, uh, manufactured eye charts for your language yet. We are still learning, in fact. Well, uh, then I guess we will do that later. Okay. Oh, then I suppose my poster isn't very good for you either. I put it up there for you to calm down. It is a soothing message. It says, hang in there. Mm-hmm. And this is one of the cutest creatures in our galaxy. I suppose it resembles a cat, but it is definitely not. See, even they have tentacles. <laughs> definitely very interesting. That's fine. Alright, let's move on. Since we can't really do the rest of the eye portion. So let's actually move on to your ears. Okay. Um, this one is very simple. I'm just going to whisper in either side of your ears, and I want you to tell me what I did, um, what number I told you. Okay. All right. Seven. Okay. Twenty-one. Very good. Okay. 
very good. How's that? Very good. Okay. Well, um, well then you do have some basic hearing and you do understand some basic things. That's very good. Um, next is more of a question asking you about your species again. So tell me, um, how far out do you think you can hear? Are you able to hear the individuals in the next room? Depends on how loud. Well, let's say they are doing a regular talking voice. Would you be able to hear them? No? Okay. Interesting. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> um, I... Yes, because you can't hear as well as some other species, that does sort of limit our hearing test. Although I, I suppose I could take a look at your hearing mechanism that you have. Let's just take a quick look. Okay. Yes, this does quite resemble my species. good. I'm just gonna check the other one. Okay, this one's just as good as the other one. There is some waxy substance in your ear, but I suppose it is a precautionary um, sort of thing, so I wouldn't worry about that. Mm -hmm. So your ears do look good. Okay, do have a decent lobe there. It does have sort of a difference from the last human that I was looking at. I suppose though you are able to add jewelry to your ears as a human. Okay, that's fine. Let's move on. We're going to have you smell some things. Okay. I just have a few jars here. That I'm going to have you smell for me, and you tell me what you smell, and this is just to detect your sense of smell, okay? Alright, go ahead and smell that for me. It smells like vanilla? Yes, correct. Alright, let's put that one away. And this next one... that? Lavender, correct. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, and this next one. Peppermint. I'm not sure what that is, but, uh, I suppose you don't really have this smell on your home planet. Ah, uh, maybe you could go with peppermint on that one. I'll write it as inconclusive. <laughs> I have one last one for you, though. Okay, and this one? That is correct. So, I'm just going to write inconclusive on one of those um, and take it out of the test, and that way you'll get 100% on it instead of um, 75%. Your smell is good in terms of deciphering different types of smells, um, but do me a favor, um, how often do you use your nose? All the time. Okay, so you can't shut it off. Okay. That'll 
be very hard for some humans. Mm. Some planets um, smell a bit more than others, so that will rule out some of the planets in the GORP system. Pretty much most of that system is a no-go then. Alright, so let's, let's uh, move on. Um, now tell me, what was your previous uh, job on your human Earth? Mm -hmm. Now, were you in that job because you enjoyed it or because you were very good at it and so that is something that you were doing? On your planet, there is something resembling an intelligence test, and you go through this for 12 years or more? Oh, school. Okay. So tell me, what, um, what sort of thing were you good at in uh, school? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's uh, not an easy answer. Um, I was hoping you were going to give me one specific thing, but that's fine. Um, like I said, we have done um, some tests while you were sleeping, so we do have a good idea. I just wanted to see what your opinion was on that, on how well you were with that. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, your strength. Can you tell me how much you think you could pick up in terms of human pounds. Mm -hmm. Okay. We will do a more extensive test of your muscles, but, you know, I don't think we need to because I do have a good idea on where I'd like to designate you. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think I've made my decision. Of course, this is just a recommendation, but it is a very strong one. Um, I am well respected in my department, so I generally make very spot-on decisions. Okay. So this is actually, here, let me just write it down real quick and then I'll explain it to you. Okay. So, as you know, um, because the Galactic Government has taken over, you no longer can have many different governments on your Earth. It is all one government, okay? But it does make life forms feel rather uh, uh, safe when they do have an all power that decides things for them. But also we do need officials on each planet and ab uh, able to enact the rules of the galactic government, okay? So, of course we have our own officials that we will send down to Earth to be the new ruler. Um, there's no one ruler, really. It's just one person enacting the uh, rules of the galactic government, but all these officials work together and this way, Earth can now live in peace, okay? There are new rules for living on your planet, okay? Um, but we do also respect your previous government. And in that way, I mean we do let um, humans be a part of the galactic government, okay? Although we will not let you make um, decent decisions, it is simply a placeholder sort of position for you. Um, just a sort of a way of saying, here you go, we have given you representation. So I would love it if you could be one of these officials in our government. It is a perfect job for you, I believe. You would show up. And, um, that is your job. To be a representation of your species in our new government that will inhabit Earth. Mm-hmm. Yes. 
No, you wouldn't have to do much. I mean, there would be some things that we would give for you, some paperwork, maybe we would make you say a few lines on the television, uh, maybe uh, so a few things about the government and different changes and such, but not much, yes. If anything, just show up for your designation and you will be doing just fine. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know you are a bit, uh, worried about this, but don't worry, you'll fit in just fine. This is your perfect designation. Alright, like I said, it's just a suggestion that I give. They may decide to put you somewhere else once they get the results back from all of your tests. Well, it was very nice to meet you. I have um, several million humans to go, so I would appreciate if you would move on to um, the lunchroom and get yourself something to eat and perhaps take a good rest. Mm -hmm. We'd like you all to stay healthy. Yes. Okay. Alrighty then. Have a very nice night. <laughs>